just five, four, three, two, one. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. The word star, man, it's an illusion. Stay cool. Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. To so stick around. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News present. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a very, very sad day. NASA's Kepler spacecraft has entered emergency mode 75 million miles from Earth. And that's not good news, man. No matter what, that is crappy news. Because whereas we have 18,000 satellites pointed towards Earth, we've got like four or five pointed towards the vast cosmos we call outer space in the universe. Let me remind you if I can. I am astronomy and space exploration's biggest fan. And I am saddened, disheartened, and despondent at the state of modern astronomy and space exploration. And now it appears, worst case scenario, we could be losing the Kepler, which is an exoplanet finding fool. How weird is the satellite situation? Other than having 18,000 satellites pointed at your own planet, but only having four or five satellites pointed out towards outer space in your solar system. Well, it's so weird that they haven't replaced the Hubble in 25 years. Now think about that. You put up the Hubble, everybody's like, wow, this is awesome. This is giving us more science than anything in the history of mankind. Everybody loves it. It's amazing. Let's not replace it for 28 years. Does that make any sense to you? Can you imagine the military not trying to replace or upgrade any of their defense systems? I mean, it's it's ridiculous. It's not like we got the, the Hubble, just 25 years old, the Spitzer, one of the stereo cameras, a handful of others, and that's it. You know, I think we put up like 10 satellites monitoring climate change and environment in the last two or three years. But as far as really badass telescopes that are in outer space, looking towards the heavens, those are rare and far between. And I know the James Webb Space Telescope is supposed to replace the Hubble. They've been working on that thing for 19 years. Can you imagine spending 19 years building a telescope? I mean, sure, that's fine if you're like one man in your basement. Then you can have 25 years to replace the Hubble. But if you're NASA, you know, 19 years to replace a freaking telescope. That's ridiculous. Anyway, it's nothing but heartbreak around here these days. Let me read the article. Over at The Verge by Lauren Grush. NASA engineers have declared a mission emergency for the agency's planet-hunting spacecraft Kepler, which is somehow switched into emergency mode. NASA just found out about the anomaly a day and a half ago, right before the agency tried to maneuver the spacecraft to point at the center of the Milky Way for a new observation campaign. Now that a mission emergency has been declared, the Kepler team has priority access to NASA's deep space telecommunication systems in order to try to get the spacecraft back to normal operations. Emergency mode is the lowest operational mode the spacecraft has. It also requires a lot more fuel than usual. What? Which is why the Kepler mission team is working hard to get the spacecraft back to normal. But communication with Kepler isn't easy. The spacecraft is currently 75 million miles away from Earth right now, according to NASA. So any communication signal traveling at the speed of light will take up to 13 minutes to travel to, will take up to 13 minutes to travel to and from the spacecraft. NASA said it will provide updates about its efforts when they are available. But I guess there's hope, man, because this isn't the first time that Kepler has suffered some kind of malfunction. Kepler originally launched in 2009 with the goal of looking for planets outside of our solar system. The spacecraft accomplished its main goal by 2012 after finding nearly 5,000 exoplanets. But in July of that year, Kepler experienced a failure in one of its four gyroscopic reaction wheels, which helped them aim the spacecraft. Second wheel was lost in May 2013, putting an end to its primary mission. But in 2014, NASA was able to extend Kepler's life into what is called the K2 mission, which involves using pressure from the sun to help orient the spacecraft. Okay, so this is a day that those of us who like to romanticize outer space are very sad. This is a day that everybody who loves to hate everything involves with outer space. I guess they can be happy. Hello, you know how I feel? It's too bad, man. What the fuck is it? What is the world coming to these days? Replace the damn Hubble, man. Anyway, peace out. God bless everybody.